guys welcome back to my channel so today um is some project shares using my new dies from my new design team store on aliexpress which is becky cat store and the first thing is this little hot air balloon it does come with a mama and a baby version and this does make a shaker or you could just layer it up as a, a normal balloon you don't have to make it a shaker so i used the prima uh, 31 collection and i put a little ghosty in the shaker part in the biggest part it, I should say I added this little bow that does not come with it and um, a cute little spider web paper in the background the glue is still kind of drying I've been using my nouveau I don't know what this is my nouveau glue because it's easier with the lid I don't know why I find it just easier and it doesn't clog as much but my barely arts I lost the needle tip I washed it and I don't know where I put it <laughs> so I'm using that in the meantime but anyway this is a super cute little Halloween shaker and I do want to embellish it further on the bottom but yeah that's that that's the mama version Get a little legs okay next is this one and this is the little box and this piece right here you need to cut this out in 110 pound cardstock um, I thought this was like a layering piece and it's not this is the base of the sleigh so or sled sleigh sled so this is it right here and I cut this part out in 110 because I didn't realize that this part was like the, the frame. It stands up, I mean, because I did, it does come with layering pieces as well. So these two little pieces. So if you cut your frame out, say in white, you could do these parts in gold or something. But these are both, I cut out in, both in red. And um, they're just glued on top of each other. And then I did the little handrail part in gold, that textured gold paper. And this does come with a lot of presents. I think three different present sizes. So I just did one of the presents and did like the frame style in like a gold glitter. Added a little peppermint and then I hole punched it and added this little tassel that was gifted to me. And it's a cute little slight. And this little box, once it's assembled, it's two and a half by two inches. Okay, so that's that guy. This is this die. Can't tell what it is from just looking at it, but it's actually a sticker box, and this is the larger of the two. And just a heads up that this this does not fit on a six inch plate. This fits through your six inch platform, but it's bigger than the actual plate, so you have to run it through like this. Then you gotta make sure it stays still, run it do, down and do the bottom half. And you need to slide it over to get this other panel on the side. See how it's not, it's not gonna die cut that. So that was the only downfall with this with a smaller machine, but it's possible with a smaller machine because I have one, I have a six inch one. So that's the bigger box. And I cut it out in the Prima paper. These are actually the Prima cut aparts, but it fit on the panels of these box boxes. And this box, once assembled, is three and three fourths inches by about one and three fourths inches wide. So this little um, tab goes right here. I stitched everything. I added those Dollar Tree rub-on stickers. They're so so good, and it's like a matte finish, and it just it's so seamless with the paper that you can't even tell that that's a sticker on there. I love that stitch everything so right here I just did the pull and hollow and you would pull the sticker pull your sticker sheet and it's literally peeling it off the backing for you and you are ready to go and stick this on your happy meal okay so that's this part right here in order to fill the box again so I had to tuck this band there's nowhere to tuck it in here uh, but I just, when I glued this decorative panel on, I just left a little, basically like a little square with no glue. And I, um, I stuck this in underneath the panel. See how it like slides under and it stays closed like that? So that is one option to do that. Or you can completely cut this part off and just have a box if you want. You don't have to make it a tape dispenser. It's nothing fancy on the inside. So in order to get the tape out, you have to open it through here. So I have a little roll of stickers in here. This goes down and then this goes into that little slit right there. So yeah, that is everything for today and I will catch you guys on the next crafty video. Bye guys.